क्लास टेन साइंस आई एम आर एस प्रसाद सर टूडे अवर चैप्टर इज सेवेंटीन एंड दैट इज द केमिस्ट्री इन डेली लाइफ सो लेट एस स्टार्ट वट इज इन दिस चैप्टर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज योर वाटर वाटर द मोलिकुलर फॉर्मुला ऑफ वाटर इज एच टू ओ दैट मीन्स इट हैज टू एटम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एंड वन एटम ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एंड कंबाइन टूगेदर दे फॉर्म अ कंपाउंड एंड यूजली Usually, the density of a substance in the solid state is more than its density in the liquid state. But at four degree C, remember this one: at four degree C, the density of water in solid state ice is zero point nine gram per mL, and its density in the liquid state that is one. So it is imagine one uh, gram per mL. so as you can see the 4 degree c is the density of ice less than the density of water and therefore ice floats on the water this is a bone of water life in colder region the earth the surface of river and lake freeze to ice since ice is a thermal heat insulator therefore water below the ice surface cools more slowly and does not freeze easily so that means uh, density jo hai wo water ki wo zyada ho ja rahi hai with respect to the ice ice ki kam ho ja rahi hai jiski wajah se ice jo hai wo pani ke upar float karne lag rahi hai tairne lag rahi hai isse kya hota hai jahan par bhi thande padte hain wahan ke jab jo talab vagera ya jheel vagera hai jam jati hai to jamne ke baad kya hota hai बर्फ जो होती है यानी आइस होती है वो पानी के ऊपर होती है तो पानी नीचे रह जाता है नीचे जीव जंतु जो भी रहते हैं और वगैरह रहते हैं वो सारे के सारे लाइव रहते हैं मतलब जिंदे रह जाते हैं तो इस तरह से ये एक बहुत ही अमेजिंग फैक्ट है जो वाटर के पास है यानी पानी के पास है और पानी हमारी लाइफ के लिए बहुत ही असेंशियल कॉम्पोनेंट है लेट एस स्टार्ट वाटर विल बी अपन इन द अदर पार्ट द सॉफ्ट एंड हार्ड वाटर वाटर इज टू टाइप्स वन इज सॉफ्ट वाटर एंड सेकेंड वन इज हार्ड वाटर वाटर इज कॉल्ड हार्ड वाटर और सॉफ्ट वाटर डिपेंडिंग ऑन द अमाउंट ऑफ साल्ट प्रेजेंट इन इट यानी किसी में भी कितना साल्ट प्रेजेंट है उसको लेकर के बोला जाता है कि हार्ड वाटर है या सॉफ्ट वाटर सॉफ्ट वाटर में ये सॉल्ट बहुत कम होते हैं अमाउंट में और हार्ड वाटर में बहुत ज्यादा होते हैं सो ऑल्सो ऑन हाउ मच लेदर इज प्रोड्यूस विथ सॉफ्ट सॉफ्ट के साथ जो जितना ज्यादा झाक देगा दैट इज द सॉफ्ट वाटर एज जो बहुत कम झाक देगा दैट मीन्स लेदर इज कम क्लोथ जो जिसमें कम बनेगा दैट इज द हार्ड वाटर सो सॉफ्ट वाटर यू कैन डिवाइड इन टू टू पार्ट सो सॉफ्ट वाटर इट्स क्विकली फॉर्म अ लॉट ऑफ लेदर विद सॉफ्ट सॉफ्ट के साथ बहुत ज्यादा झाग बनाता है रेन वाटर एंड डिस्टिल वाटर आर द टू एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सॉफ्ट वाटर इट इज द टू एग्जाम्पल्स एंड फर्स्ट इज डिस्टिल वाटर एंड सेकेंड वन इज रेन वाटर बोथ आर द प्योर वाटर एंड दैट इज द सॉफ्ट वाटर What is the hard water? It takes a long time to form leather. Means, ये झाग बनाने के लिए बहुत लंबा टाइम लेता है. With the soft, यानी soft के साथ. And very little leather is seen. और बहुत ही कम झाग दिखाई देता है. Instead, hard water forms a precipitate known as soap comes. इसको हम बोलते हैं with soap. ये जो है hard water क्या करता है? Precipitate form करता है और soap के साथ. और क्या बनाता है इस कम बना देता है छोटे छोटे दाने से बना देता है जो प्रेस्पेट की फॉर्म में दिखाई देते हैं सो लेट अस स्टार्ट व्हाई इट इज सॉफ्ट वाटर एंड व्हाई इट इज हार्ड वाटर लेट अस सी कॉज ऑफ हार्डनेस ऑफ वाटर व्हाई द प्रेजेंस ऑफ डिजॉल्व सॉल्ट मैग्नीशियम ऑलवेज रिमेंबर मैग्नीशियम और कैल्सियम कॉज इज द हार्डनेस ऑफ वाटर वाई द सॉल्ट कैन बी हाइड्रोजन कार्बोनेट्स और सल्फेट और कार्बोनेट्स इट डिजोल्व साल्ट इज ऑफ द सोडियम ऑफ वाटर विल बी सॉफ्ट अगर सोडियम का सॉल्ट है दैट मीन वो सॉफ्ट वाटर होगा सोप इज अ सोडियम सॉल्ट ऑन लॉन्ग चेन फैटी एसिड फॉर एग्जाम्पल सोडियम सिट्रेट इट इज द सॉफ्ट फार्मूला इट इज द फार्मूला ऑफ सॉफ्ट सोडियम सिट्रेट वेन सोडियम सिट्रेट रिएक्ट विद दिस मेटल It forms precipitate. This is the precipitate M2. That means the two charged matter. That is the calcium. It has two charge. Magnesium. It has two charge. So that type of uh, ions are here. So it is react with sodium 
uh, salt of fatty acid that is the soap and you can say it is soap. Now it forms a precipitate. So most of the part is used in the precipitation. So that why it is a hard water. So water will form leather with soap only after all the magnesium and calcium salts are precipitated. A lot of soap is wasted during. It is very important. A lot of soap is wasting during the precipitation reaction. So additionally the residue soap is come planes to clothes giving them a dull grey appearance. Now come to the type of hardness. So two type hardness. First is temporary hardness and second one is permanent hardness. So first of all we want to see the temporary hardness. What is the temporary hardness? So it is due to the presence of calcium and magnesium bicarbonates. Ye bicarbonates hai, or we can say hydrogen carbonates. So you can see here, this is called is dissolved calcium or magnesium, hydrogen carbonate. You can say it is bicarbonate also, bicarbonate. You can say it is bicarbonate. That means calcium bicarbonate or magnesium bicarbonate. This one calcium bicarbonate or magnesium bicarbonate are present in water. When we boil water, the soluble salt, calcium hydrogen carbonate or magnesium hydrogen carbonates get precipitated as insoluble carbonate. You may have seen uh, white rings on white film deposit in utensils which are used for heating water. Pani garam karne ke liye jo aap log button me dekhte ho, to button ke walls pe ring ban jati hai white color ki and that ring is the uh, calcium carbonate or magnesium carbonate. This is insoluble carbonate yani ye soluble nahi ho pate so that is the formula of calcium bicarbonate you can say calcium hydrogen carbonate it is boiling it gives calcium carbonate under the precipitate it is the precipitate so that's why its arrow is downwards and water and carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is, is the gas so it is the up arrow suppose the hardness of water is due to magnesium hydrogen carbonate so in this case what will be happen we boil water, can you write the chemical reaction, you can write here, it is a magnesium bicarbonate. How you can write the, this one is MgHCO3 and hold twice and it is boiling. So it forms MgCO3 and one molecule of water and the other is carbon dioxide. So you can write this one equation. And the name of this one is the magnesium hydrogen carbonate. It is H. So it is your calcium bicarbonate. Uh, or you can say calcium hydrogen carbonate. This one is calcium hydrogen carbonate. And uh, it is the calcium hydroxide. It is the lime water. Whenever it's react with lime water, it gives calcium carbonate. And that is the precipitate and water and that is the liquid. So boiling on method of getting right of temporary hardness, another way is by adding a fixed quantity of lime water. Lime water will be iski hardness khatam ho jati. Temporary hardness ko remove karne ke liye ya to water ko boil kar dijiye ya phir is lime water ke saath ya isko treat kar dijiye. To ye isme jo precipitate hota hai, wo sara ka sara filter ho jane ke baad pure mil jayega. Matlab soft water mil jayega. Now, let us see the second one. The second one is permanent hardness. It is caused the presence of dissolved salts. Which salts? First one is calcium, magnesium, that is the sulfate and chlorides. Chlorides and the calcium and magnesium sulfates. You can say calcium sulfate or magnesium sulfate, that one. CaSO4, MgSO4 or CaCl2 and MgCl2. These are the regions for the permanent hardness of water. So permanent hardness cannot be removed by boiling. Always remember, it cannot be removed by the boiling or treatment with lime water. Lime water is a treatment ke baad bhi ye uh, hardness remove nahi ho paegi, permanent hai. Aaj kal aapke paas jaya hai, this apparatus is used, that is the RO. RO is the apparatus uh, which is used to uh, hard water change into soft water which is for our health.
so let us see what is the modern technique for the soft softening hard water hard water ko soft water mein change karne ki ye modern method hai so ro aata ro means what is the ro it is the reverse osmosis so name of this ro is always remember it is the reverse osmosis so you can say ro generally two techniques are commonly used for the softening of hard water uh, that uh, has exist salts one of the technique is reverse osmosis ro method you know when two solutions are separated by semi permeable membrane it is semi uh, in short we can say it is spm semi permeable membrane then the solvent molecules are dilute solution flows towards the concentrated solution through this membrane membrane se jo hai membrane ki taraf kya hota hai uh, jo low concentration hai wahan se solvent jo hai higher concentration ki aur flow hona chalu hai this process is known as osmosis it is also in your bio but in the reverse osmosis reverse osmosis ka matlab hai ki higher solution se low solution ki aur low concentration ki aur uh, solvent ka movement that is the called as reverse osmosis but in the reverse osmosis high pressure is used so that water molecules from the concentrated solution in this case hard water uh, flow through the semi permeable membrane and we get pure water on the other side thus a semi permeable membrane is used to separate salt molecules from hard water however a lot of water is wasted during the reverse osmosis प्योरिफिकेशन इस प्योरिफिकेशन में बहुत ज्यादा वाटर बेकार चला जाता है सो इन द सेकंड टेक्निक वाटर इज सॉफ्टनेस इज यूजिंग आयन एक्सचेंज रेंजिन वेयर द रेंजिन इज अ पोरस अ रेंजिन विद सोडियम आयन इज यूज्ड टू फिल्टर हार्ड वाटर व्हेन द हार्ड वाटर पासिस थ्रू द रेंजिन कैल्शियम एंड मैग्नीशियम आयन प्रेजेंट इन द वाटर गेट्स एक्सचेंज विद सोडियम आयन and the water thus obtained so is soft as it is free from calcium and magnesium ions the sodium ion is the renzin decrease with the use of renzin has to be repeblinished um, from time to time so let us see next one so potable water what is the potable which is used for drinking so drinking water should be clean clean colorless odorless and free from the germs so it uh, should also have a sufficient amount of dissolved salts to make available water potable we can add alum bleaching powder potassium permanganate and the chlorine etc as needed to water purification device we can use ultraviolet rays to purify water so now come to the next what is the property use of water water is used as a solvent isme sari cheeze dissolve ho jati hain so it is the universal solvent you can say it is universal solvent universal solvent so you can write this one so water is essential for crops and the agriculture in agriculture so water is used in number of industry such as textile industry paper industry and mining also so water is used to wash clothes for cleaning purpose and since water has high specific heat so it is used in boiler engines and coolers water pollution is the most factor of our life so what is this when water is used for cleaning or industry purpose some undesirable substance gets mixed in it further there can be decrease in the amount of oxygen dissolved in water due to many reasons and this can affect the properties of water this water is now polluted and so no longer stable for us so preventing of the limiting water pollutions are as follows so it is the limitations for the using of water so making it compulsory for all industry to install water purification devices ye zaruri ho gaya hai ki har ek ke liye industry ke liye purification device ke liye zarur lagaya jaye to treatment waste water produced by them now second household 
waste water and sewage uh, water should be treated before it enters rivers and lake third the use of harmful is parasites or pesticides should be limited and their excessive use should be banned now fourth one many human activities such as bathing washing clothes or emerging dead bodies as of the cremated persons idols and uh, flowers etc in the rivers also pollutes the water such This common salt and that is the sodium chloride. It is an ACL. It is called as common salt. You can say sodium chloride. Sea water has uh, 30 to 35 gram or dissolved salt per liter of water. The primary salt present is sodium chloride which is also known as common salt. So as you know, remember is always the sodium chloride is the common salt. And how can collect it is the ocean, from the ocean, ocean water is spread into the field and when vaporize the water, so we can collect the sodium chloride. So it is the production of the salt from sea and then it is used to purification with the help of apparatus. So let us start, what will be here? Sea water is collected in solo ditches near the sea so and left for evaporation once the water evaporate it leaves behind raw salt which contains many other of salt a small quantity so sand along with the common salt figure uh, this raw salt is purified and crystallized by use of tempting salt from sea water it is difficult and the task has not to uh, be carried out very carefully during the purification uh, process of raw salt some desires and the necessary substances are also added to it for example iodine iodine is added in the form of potassium iodate so now come to the uh, common salt is used, it is the use, common salt is used uh, as a, a preservative, preservative means swachit rakhne wale chiz hoti hai. The prevent uh, food from the spoiling by stopping the growth of bacteria. It is the first, now second is common salt is an important raw material in production of many substances such as sodium, hydroxide, baking soda, washing soda and bleaching powder etc. So third one is Oral hydration solution, that is the ORS, which is a solution of sugar and salt in water, is the primary treatment for the for when our bodies gets dehydrated. So let us start the next one. So first question, we have two water samples A and B, sodium hydrogen carbonate was found in sample A and magnesium sulfate was found in sample B. That means sample B is magnesium sulfate hai, and it has a sodium hydrogen carbonate. Which sample of water ha is hard and why? It is the hard. Sample B is hard because it has a magnesium sulfate. So answer is like this. Water, water of sample B is hard because permanent hardness of the water is due to the soluble chlorides and sulfate salts of calcium and magnesium so in the water here in water sample b magnesium sulfate is dissolved so it is the uh, hard water now second give two natural sources of the common salt first uh, two natural sources of salt are sea water sea water and sea organisms Come to the baking soda. What is the baking soda? It is the formula of NaHCO3. 
it is the sodium hydrogen carbonate so it is the baking soda how can form this baking soda so baking soda is a soft often used the kitchen kitchen mein bahut zyada use hota hai aur then spongy cakes or and breads sponge banane ke liye cake aur bread ko spongy banate hain isliye iska bahut zyada use sometimes it is uh, also used to cook food faster food ko bahut fast banane ke liye jaldi ban jaye khana it is the chemical name of the sodium hydrogen carbonate you can say sodium bicarbonate also sodium bicarbonate so baking soda is produced by salve ammonia process you can remember this method salve ammonia process in which is used salt as one of the raw material so we can say here ammonium is it is a sodium chloride water and carbon dioxide and ammonia they all are react together they form ammonium chloride and sodium bicarbonate and sodium hydrogen carbonate also is and now um, when sodium hydrogen carbonate is heated it is the property when sodium hydrogen carbon is heated it decompose form sodium carbonate with production of carbon dioxide gas so you can see here it is the sodium hydrogen carbonate and when it is heated it forms sodium carbonate water and carbon dioxide now use of baking soda what is the use so first one making baking powder baking powder is mixed of baking soda and tartaric acid so always remember uh, mixed with baking soda and tartaric acid it is remember so when baking powder is heated on mixing water so it uh, following reaction take place what reaction when sodium carbonate bicarbonate react with sodium chloride hydrogen chloride so it is the form acid so it is form carbon dioxide water and the sodium salt of that acid suppose it is your hcl it is your hcl so this one is the an hcl so carbon dioxide produced during this reaction cause bread and cakes rise making them soft and spongy now second sodium hydrogen carbonate is used as anti acid to reduce acidity to stomach being alkaline it's neutralize excess acid in the stomach now third one baking soda is also used in soda acid fire extinguisher aag bujhane wale yantra mein iska use karte hain now come to the washing soda washing soda what is the washing soda it is the na2co3 it is the sodium carbonate you can say it is sodium carbonate the chemical formula of the washing soda that is the na2co3 and 10h2o also in this 10h2o it is a crystal 10h2o uh, we have seen the sodium carbonate can be obtained by heating baking soda and recrystallization of the sodium carbonate gives washing soda washing soda is also a basic salt it is a basic salt it is the uh, na2co3 washing soda and water when it, they form uh, crystal of the sodium carbonate and it is the washing soda so 10 molecules of water are attached to each molecules of crystalline salt always remember it is crystalline sodium carbonate so this does not means that the it is the form of a solution washing soda is a white colorless crystalline suppose it is a colorless crystalline solid and uh, attach uh, with water molecules when crystallization is fixed number of water molecules present in the formula unit of a salt when washing soda is left in open it loses nine water molecule always remember it uses loses nine water molecule and gets converted into white powder and sodium carbonate monohydrate so this property is known as efflorescence so it is a very important thing so it is the efflorescence what is efflorescence so that you can write the answer this property is known as efflorescence when it remove the water molecule nine molecule molecules are removed and they form sodium carbonate monohydrate so let us start the next one use of washing soda what is the use of washing soda first one is sodium carbonate is used as a cleaning agent for domestic purpose second is 
it is used in glass soap textile and paper industry also so it third one it is used for removing the permanent hardness of water so let us see the questions the first question write the chemical formula of two important uses of baking soda you have to see now chemical name of baking soda that is the sodium hydrogen carbonate it is the hydrogen carbonate and you can say sodium bicarbonate also so its chemical formula is nahco3 you can write now use you can see use first baking soda is used in bakery for making cake and breads now second it is used in fire extinguishers for the purpose for the production of carbon dioxide now third second what is the efflorescence ye bhi bata diya tha maine answer in washing soda 10 molecules of water is laying in the form of water crystallization so on keeping these crystals open in air nine molecules of water are lost and gets converted to sodium carbonate monohydrate this property is known as efflorescence so you can write here the formula also reaction na2co3 and 10h2o when it is heating so it forms na2co3 and one molecule of water and here is nine molecule of water is removed so that is the sodium carbonate monohydrate so you can see here the name of this compound is here uh, sodium carbonate monohydrate so you can write here now come to the third question baking powder is a mixture of uh, which two compounds which compounds so baking powder is a mixture of baking soda and tartaric acid so this is the two compounds in the mixture of baking powder so let us see the next one plaster of paris so it is the most important compound it is the plaster of paris what is the so chemically plaster of paris is the calcium sulfate hemihydrate hemi means half its chemical formula is you can say here caso4 and half of h2o so it is called as hemi so calcium sulfate hold twice and h2o so it is formed by heating of gypsum at 100 degree c 100 degree c par gypsum ko uh, heat karke hame milta hai so calcium sulfate 2h2o that is the formula of gypsum when it is heated at 200 degree c it forms calcium hemihydrate and that is the plaster of paris so plaster of paris is a white powder and on mixing with water it's changed once again to gypsum and giving a hard solid mass so it is the reaction you can see here calcium sulfate half h2o plus red one and half h2o so it form caso4 2h2o it is the gypsum so that is the gypsum and it is the uh, plaster of paris you can say plaster of paris so now come to the uses of this plaster of paris so usual plaster paste it is used by doctors for supporting the fractures bones in the right position now second one it is used making toys and idols third one is used to make eats and models cats cast and models so fourth one is used to making chalk chalk banane mein bhi iska use jyada hota hai now come to the bleaching powder bleaching powder is a formula of cao and ocl it is a calcium oxychloride the name of this one is calcium oxychloride so you can see here it is the calcium oxychloride you can write here also cao cl2 it is also referred to a chlorine chloride of lime isko hum chloride of lime bhi bolte hain so you are always remember it is chloride of lime so bleaching powder is produced by the action of chlorine gas on dry slag lime it is your slag lime and it is the chlorine and it is the dry slag lime when it is passing so it reacts and to form bleaching powder cao cl2 and this is the solid and water vapor so it is a white powder having a yellow tinge with a strong smell of chlorine isme se bahut jyada smell aati chlorine ki when left in the 
open it react with carbon dioxide to release chlorine gas so you can see here the reaction it is the bleaching powder caocl2 solid plus co2 gas and it gives calcium carbonate and chlorine gas now come to the next one use of bleaching powder for bleaching cotton in the textile industry this bleaching action is due to chlorine gas released by bleaching powder second for bleaching wood pulp in paper factories third one is uh, for deficienting drinking water to make it free of germs now come to the question which property of plaster paris is the reason why doctor use it in setting fractures so you have to write this answer on adding water to plaster of paris it gets converted to gypsum and which is a hard substance and due to this property of plaster of paris doctor uses for making keeping the bones stationary now come to the next question and the name name the substance that reacts with chlorine to gives bleaching powder and that is the calcium hydroxide so it is the slag lime so on passing the chlorine gas on dry slag lime bleaching powder is obtained thus the substance uh, is dry slag lime which reacts with chlorine to form bleaching powder and the name of this one cao whole twice it is the slag lime now cement it's a very important today nowadays it is a very important thing which is used ah uh, yes cement is a essential construction or buildings of buildings so it is a very essential parts uh, this meaning of the word cement is the something that uh, bind the glues or together other materials cement was first made by joseph you can remember this name joseph aspidin he called it portland cement because it was as hard as limestone which found in the portland now the what is the, it is a not compound it is a, a this type of composition substance formula and percentage so you have to remember this so calcium oxide it is the 61 to 65% and silica that is the sio2 it is 20 to 25% and alumina alumina is 5 to 10% and the magnesia that is mgo it is 2 to 3% and that is the iron oxide remaining that is 1 to 2% when the fine powder of mixture comes in contact with water it sets into a hard substance let us see the next one cement manufacturing how can this manufacture the raw material needed in the manufacture of the cement or limestone you will remember the limestone first clay gypsum and the clay contains large quantity of oxides iron aluminum and silicon the steps in cement production are as follows first part three parts limestone and one part of clay are pulverized to fine powders separately the powders are mixed uh, heated in a kiln where temperature is maintained between uh, 1100 to 1800 degree c so at 1100 limestone undergoes thermal decomposition it forms calcium oxide it is the reaction it is the limestone you can say limestone it forms calcium oxide and carbon dioxide so let us see what will be happen in this address this is the Uh, manufacturing of cement and apparatus and machines are used, and it is the chimney and it is the raw material which is used here and the rotatory kiln which is always rotating and the here is hot air are passed uh, which is uh, hot to the mixture of this one and it is the clinker and cooker cooler uh, where the cements are cooled and here we can get the cement. Now come to the reaction what happen in this. so calcium oxide react with other oxide present in the clay so it is the calcium oxide silica on the temperature 1400 to 1500 it forms di calcium silicate it is the double of cao so you can say di calcium silicate this one now three calcium oxide react with silica at 
1400 to 1500 degrees C. It forms tricalcium silicate. The name of this compound, tricalcium silicate. Now, 3 calcium oxide with, react with alumina. It forms tricalcium aluminate. Now, calcium oxide and aluminum oxide and iron oxide. So, all are react with uh, above the 15 degree, 1500 degree C. So, it forms tetra calcium alumino ferrite. Ferrite. So, it the name is, so tetra, once again, tetra calcium alumino ferrite. So, you can see here. Now, fourth one, the aluminite and the silicate mix obtained with um, from the furnace in the form of small hard balls or papers and are uh, in the called clinker and is called clinker. What is the clinker? So, it is the question also. So, you have remembered to this point, fourth point. You can write the fourth point for this clinker. What is clinker? So, you can write this answer. So, clinker is cooled then added to 2 to 3 percent of gypsum, calcium and dihydrate. It is added to it. This mixture is pulverized into fine powder. Now, it is a flow chart of the method of preparation of the uh, cement. First of limestone and clay are mixed together and uh, corrected portion and pulverized rotatory kiln is then heated, clinker is formed, cold to 2 to 3 percent gypsum added and now ball mill it is grinded here and pulverized cement will be formed. Now what is the setting of cement? When cement is mixed with sand and water and left some times, it sets and becomes a hard as a rock. Gypsum is added to cement to slow down the setting process. ऐसा करने से एक तो पोरस नहीं बन पाता है, दूसरा वो बहुत ही हार्ड हो जाता है। Now come to the glass. What is the? That is the next compound. That is the glass. It is the compound. And generally the formula of glass is X R two O Y M O six S I O two. It is the formula of glass. Always remember, it's a very important formula. Is always uh, asking in your examination. So R is the monovalent. Alkaline metals such as sodium, potassium, etc. And M is the divalent metal such as barium and calcium. It is divalent. It is plus 2 and plus 2. And it is uh, lead is also plus 2, zinc is also plus 2, etc. X and Y indicates the number of molecules. So it is the glass formula and you can remember this one. Now come to the next one. Manufacture of glass. The material used in manufacture of glass are silica in the form of sand. Yes, sand ki form mein isko karte hain use. So, alkaline metal in the form of sodium carbonate and potassium carbonate or mixed salt cake and carbon. Carbon that is the salt cake that is Na2SO4 and the carbon. Now, third one, divalent metal such as calcium uh, in the form of limestone, lead in the form of lithart that is the PBO and red lead that is the PB3O4. Now, fourth one, oxidizing agents or material is removed, coloring, bleaching powder, bleaching agents. Uh, now, magnesium dioxide and the potassium nitrate or sodium nitrate. Now, crits pieces is broken glass. Crits piece mein dalne padte hain, jisse ki galna chalo ho jai easily. Or color dene ke liye kuch substance dalte hain, that is the sixth point. So, coloring material, various compound used in impart different colors to glass so it is a table two you can see and choose the which color is used for the glass how green is that is the chromium oxide it is the coloring material and it is the color of the glass so yellow yellow is the cadmium sulfate sulfide and the red red is the copper oxide and purple that is the magnesium oxide and the blue that is the cobalt oxide these are the compound which is used for coloring the glass now come to the apparatus. It is the looking like the, this is the method of the manufacture of glass. It is the furnace and where the molten glass is formed here. And it is the furnace and always a hot air at first and fuel gases are also here used. And it is the flow chart for the manufacturing of uh, glass. So sodium carbonate and calcium carbonate, coolants and sands are squeezed out and heated and tank furnace and molten glass is formed and uh, saved using a boiler and an ling
it is the process to cool very slowly and slowly. That process is called as annealing. So glass object is formed. Now manufacture is given here. So common glass and soda necessary raw materials are uh, sodium carbonate, calcium carbonate, sand mixed right proportion and ground finely. And the collets which uh, acts as flux. Always remember collets is used as a flux to add to this mixture. This mixture thus obtained is called batch. Batch is heated up to the 1400 degrees C. In a tank furnace, the following reactions are take place. The first reaction, sodium carbonate react with silica. It is the silica, SiO2, silica oxide. So it forms Na2, SiO3 and carbon dioxide is removed. Now calcium carbonate and silica that reacts to calcium silicate and carbon dioxide. Now sodium silicate, calcium silicate and silica are mixed together. They form this type of formula. Na2O and CaO and 6SiO2. That is the glass. So, experienced craftsmen can shape this molten glass into desired shape and objects using a blower. These days, these days it is done in the big factories where the machines use models and the process takes place on less time and less cost. Now, glass can be cracked and the break it cooled it suddenly during the production to prevent this glass is cooled very slow and the process is called annealing. So it is remember it is a very important part. So that part is very important. So you have to remember this one annealing. Now come to the question answer. Uh, why is gypsum added to the cement? So answer you can write this answer. Gypsum is mixed in the cement to increase its time of setting. Now second, why are the collets used in the glass manufacturing? So answer is collets is used in glass manufacturing of glass because all glass acts as flux. Now third one is the melting point of the glass is not fixed. Why? Because it is a not a fixed uh, compound. So answer cement is not a chemical compound but uh, is a mixture of various silica, and the eliminates of calcium. Thus, its composition and the chemical formula is not definite. So, its properties are definite. Therefore, melting points of the cement is not definite. So, it is not a, a fixed compound. It is a mixture of the compounds. So now, come to the soap and the detergents. Uh, that oil does not dissolve in water. The molecule of the soap, sodium or potassium salts of long chain, carboic acid and denotes by the R, C, double O, M. When soap is dissolved in water, the ionization of R, C, O, O and the metals M ions. So these are the R, C, O ions has two parts. One parts R and the another long carbon chain that uh, forms a tape and the carbon carbo Silate ions gets attached to the oil molecules. The second part of the COO, uh, which is from the head and insoluble in water, it is looking like. So it is the COO and it is the hydrocarbon chain. So it is the part AMR. Now see the next part of this one. Yes, let us see when clothes are soaking in soft solution, then the negatively charged parts of the soap sound uh, the oil. Dirty shapes uh, are formed in the around the soil drops. Such a way ends of the hydrocarbons chain tails inside the shape sphere of COO minus ends on its outer part of the sphere. Thus, the soap molecules uh, forms missile and is the 4B. It is the 4B. Uh, dirty clothes. Dirty clothes may just sari sari missiles bana rahe andar iske andar. Ye C double O wale sab andar enter ho jate hain. Is tarah ka form kar lete hain. And missiles formation ho jata hai. Or missile formne ke baad jo hai, iska action shuru hota hai. Or isme se jo dirty particles hote hain, isko outside nikal diya jata hai. The missiles gets the distributed in water forming a colloids which is uh, removed 
when we rub the clothes and resign that rinse with water it is a, a four b now let us see the first can you use detergent to determine it gives a sample of water or is hard or not so how can say no by use of detergent we cannot be identify whether the water is hard or not this is because a detergent possesses the ability to clean objective even with hard water thus it is also not affected by cold water so let us see the next one second when washing clothes after the applying the soap we either scrub with a brush or beat clothes over a stone or beaten them with a stick why do we need to scrub clothes or clean them now you can write the answer during the cleanliness of the clothes it's necessary to rub or because when the clothes are immersed in soap solution the negative ions of soap are arranged around oil dirt and the end of the hydrocarbons chain that is the tail is towards the inner inside the and the coo is at the outer and the like trans this way soap molecules form micelles and micelles uh, particles disappear in water this way a colloidal is formed so which on rubbing separates and flow out with water current so it is the reason now come to the question choose the correct option the chemical formula of the baking soda that is the this one you can write here the c option is correct now second question the chemical substance that used in disinfecting drinking water to make free germs so that is the bleaching powder that is the cao cl2 now glass is a it is the solid plaster of paris it is the absorbing water now come to the match the words on column a and column b so here is the bleaching powder is the bleaching agent so it is here now baking soda baking soda is the anti acid now the washing soda washing soda is the glass manufacturing and the sodium chloride it is a preservative so you can write all this type of uh, matching now come to the third question what is hard water and what is soft water i told in the beginning so answer is soft water water which easily gives more leather with the soap is called soft water rain water and the distilled water or etc or the soft water example of soft water and now what is the hard water water which is slowly forms less leather is called hard water soap gives a thick precipitate with such water due to which lot of water is wasted now come to the fourth question what are the factors that cause hardness of water how many types of hardness so there is two types of hardness and that is the um, permanent hardness and the temporary hardness so you can write here the hardness of water due to the hydrogen carbonate uh, sulfate and the chloride salts are of calcium and magnesium are present in it so first types of water uh, that is the temporary hardness and the permanent hardness so what is the temporary hardness temporary hardness of water is due to a uh, presence of calcium and magnesium hydrogen carbonates dissolve in it now which is removed with the help of boiling now second is permanent hardness the permanent hardness is uh, of water is due to presence of chloride and sulfate salts of calcium and magnesium dissolve in the it which cannot be removed by the boiling of boiling or by lime water now come to the fifth how do animals and plants having in legs and ponds in snowy regions survive during winter so you can write answer in cold countries below the ice freeze 
on the surface of rivers and lakes water is present uh, due to which down water is slowly cooled ice is a bad conductor of heat and the density of ice is less than water that is the why organisms do not survive in the water of the lake and rivers of the cold country so you can write here the answer now come to the next question question number 6 what is the baking soda and how does it make cake soft and spongy so you can write the answer baking soda is known as baking powder it is baking powder baking powder is a mixture of baking soda and a tartaric acid when baking powder is mixed in water of the following reaction take place the, that is the sodium bicarbonate when it reacts with acid so it forms carbon dioxide and water and it is the sodium salt of that acid suppose it is your hcl so we can say it forms an acl so you have to write this one so due to uh, carbon dioxide release in the this process uh, baking breads cakes etc sweep up due to the which they become soft and the spongy now come to the seventh question what is the process of making a plaster of paris why it is stored in air tight containers so that is the process of plaster of paris is now on heating gypsum it forms plaster of paris so it is the gypsum formula caso 4 2 h 2 on heating at 100 degrees c it forms plaster of paris the formula is caso 4 and half h 2 and here is one and half h 2 is removed here so plaster of paris is a white powder on mixing in water it again gets converted to gypsum which is a hard substance water in the form of moisture is present in air in all these regions plaster of paris becomes hard by the presence of water water vapor presents in air therefore plaster of paris is stored in air tight containers to prevent it to becomes hard so that is the reasons you can do right now come to the eighth question what is the chemical name of the washing soda name the three main raw material used to produce washing soda by salve ammonia process so you have to write this answer chemical name of the sodium washing soda is sodium carbonate so you have to write this one is name is sodium carbonate and the sodium carbonate sodium chloride that is the nacl and the ammonia that is the nh3 and the limestone that is the caco3 so it is the raw material which is used in solve ammonia process so you have to write this answer now come to the ninth question uh, a compound of calcium which is a white powder having a yellow tinge is used in textile industry and as a disinfectant now first name the compound second which gas is released when the compound is left out in open air give the balance equation for this reaction now let us write the answer name of the compound is calcium hyd calcium oxychloride that is the bleaching powder so you can write here caocl2 uh, the chemical name of this one bleaching powder it is the lime of it is the chlorine of lime you can say it is also chlorine of lime and the name is the this the, you can say the name of this compound is calcium oxychloride so you have see here for calcium oxychloride second on keeping uh, calcium hydrochloride open in air and react with the carbon dioxide and the chlorine gas is released so you can see here the chemical reaction it is a bleaching powder calcium oxychloride it is carbon dioxide so react with to form calcium carbonate and chlorine gas so always remember this is the reaction of and that reaction is balanced reaction now question number 10 a compound of sodium x is a white powder and an important component of the baking powder uh, when x is heated uh, gas y is produced that turns lime water milky uh, first write the chemical equation for the reaction which take place on heating and second 
Why X is used as anti-acid? So you can write the answer in a given reaction. Name of the compound X is bleaching soda. That is the baking soda. You can do right. And sodium hydrogen carbonate. The name of this one is sodium hydrogen carbonate. So formula is like this NaHCO3. First, on heating baking soda, it decomposes to form sodium carbonate. It forms sodium carbonate. So it is, you can see here. And the carbon dioxide gas. So it, this is the chemical equation. It is the sodium hydrogen carbonate on heating. It gives sodium carbonate, water and carbon dioxide. And the reaction is balanced. Now second, sodium hydrogen carbonate is used as anti-acid to reduce acidity of the stomach and uh, being alkaline is neutralized the acidity of the stomach so you have to write this one now come to the 11th question uh, describe the steps of the process of the glass manufacture under each of the following headings first is necessary material second one is substance that gives uh, or important color to glass and third one is the chemical reaction taking place in tank furnace I have taught already, but you can see here answer and write the answer. Raw material used for the uh, production of the glass. First one is the silica and second one is the alkali metals and third one is the bivalent metal and third one is the oxidizing agent or bleaching agent and the fifth is pullets. So first one silica in the form of sand. Alkaline metal that is the sodium carbonate or Carbon mix with salt. So you can say the sodium sulfate and carbon or in the form of potassium carbonate. Now bivalent that the calcium uh, in the form of uh, limestone. Lead in the form of litha that is the PBO and the sindur. It is the red lead. So PB3O4. You can say red lead. Now oxidizing agent, bleaching agent also. So manganese dioxide that is the MnO2 and the potassium nitrate that is the KNO3 or sodium nitrate that is the NaNO3. So these are the raw material you can and the collect broken pieces of the glass. It is used as a flux. Flux, it is used as a flux. So now it is the substance used for prevent the provide the color. So color of the glass and here is the substance so green color it is the chromium oxide yellow color cadmium sulfide red color copper oxide purple color magnesium magnesium oxide and blue color that is the cobalt oxide now the chemical reaction in during this process it is the sodium carbonate and silica react with to form sodium silicate and the carbon dioxide is removed it is the calcium carbonate silica react to form the calcium silicate and the carbon dioxide is removed. Now the sodium silicate, calcium silicate and silica uh, combine together they form a molecule of glass. So it is the glass manufacture and this is the apparatus which is used in this manufacture. It is the molten glass here. So when mm, on the completing the reaction and we can use in the shape of uh, different type of stages in the blocks. Now come to the next Question number 10, write the different steps involving in cement production. I have told already, but you can write answer. The cement is a manufacturer in the flow, flowing step. First, three parts, limestone and one part of clay mixed in the grinded into fine powder and heated in furnace, whose temperature is being 1100 to 1800 degrees C. At this temperature, due to thermal decomposition of lime calcium oxide is formed so it is the calcium carbonate that is the limestone it forms calcium oxide and carbon dioxide now second the calcium oxide react with other oxides uh, present in the soil so the calcium oxide react with silica oxide it forms at 1400 to 1500 temperature di calcium silicate now come to the third that is the calcium oxide plus silica, three molecules of calcium oxide. It uh, react with silica to form at 14 to 1500 degrees C. Three tri-calcium silicate. Now the third one is 
that is the three calcium oxide and the one molecule of aluminum and react at the 1400 to 1500 degree centigrade it forms tri calcium element and now last the calcium oxide and alumina and iron all are combined together they form tetra calcium aluminate ferrite you can write here also ferrite so these are the reactions involving this now come to the last question i think this is the last question how are soap missiles formed described the answer is the formation of missiles of soap on dissolving soap in water to ionize into m ions and r c double o ions where are the two parts of this r c double o uh, a long hydrocarbon chain R and which is forms the tail and the carbon carboxylate ions and join with the oil molecules. The other C double O parts which forms the head and dissolve in water. Here is the R part. It is the R part and it is the C double O part and it is working as a head and it is working as a tail. So you can see here and the next one how can remove the missiles? Uh, the when the cloth is uh, emerged in the soap solution, then the anions, anions of the soap uh, arrange uh, uh, spherically around the oil. That means dirty. So in such a way that the ends on tail of the hydrocarbon and the chain is inward and the C double O and the projected outwards like thrown. This way molecules of soap forms the structure of missiles. So that is the structure of missiles. Missiles particles disappear in water. Thus a collide is formed which is rubbing separated by flowing uh, with the water current. So it is the structure of missile. Formation of structure of missile. You can see here step by step and uh, make this figure in your question. So it is the last. Yahi pe yeh samap to raha bachcho. Yaha pe niche ek laal ka button dikhai de raha hai. Isko dabaa ke subscribe karenge aur jyada se jyada bachcho ko share karenge, jis se jyada bachcho ko fayda ho sake. Aur mere video ko like bhi karenge. Isi ke saath main Aris Prasad sir aaj isko yahi samap karta hu. Thank you. Have a nice day.